Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today I'm going to be working on five of these farmhouse style Christmas DIYs. In the first DIY, we're going to be making this tag sign and it's going to be in those three different color tones. We're going to be using the two contact papers. Uh, I got the one that has like a dark walnut look and the other one has like a oak color tone to it. Now I'm just removing that Noel sign and I'm just scraping mine down as smooth as I can get it with my utility knife. And then I'm going to mark off with my painter's tape where I want to put the contact paper and the space in the middle that I would like to paint with my white chalk paint. Now this was a Pinterest inspired design. I'm sure you've probably seen some of these different color tones done like this, but I thought I would try my uh, design on here and hopefully give you an idea if you haven't already seen this one. Now the contact paper is sticky on the back, but I still use that glue stick to glue it down because every once in a while the contact paper, paper seems to lift up on the edges. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off that excess. I really like this light oak color of the contact paper and I like how the knots show up so well. It really makes it look like real wood. That's why I did the top of mine a little bit larger than the bottom. And I'm just using a wet paper towel there to just smooth everything down. It seems like that really helps get some of those wrinkles out. We're just going to trim off that excess on the top there and then we'll be ready to paint our middle with our white chalk paint. And you can see when you cut that with that painter's tape down, your line comes out really clean and straight. And now I'll end up adding that to painter's tape back before I paint the middle with the white chalk paint. Now I decided to decorate mine with uh, just some of the greenery and the pitberry from Dollar Tree. I ended up getting those little pine sticks and I also got some of the frosted fern and the red pitberry. And then I'm just going to use one of those um, buffalo check black and white bows to put in the middle. And then you'll see here in a moment when I put the letters on, I found my letters at Walmart and I think they have those for 98 cents and I'm just going to spell out the word joy.
Well, everyone, I hope you're enjoying our little redo on our Christmas tag from Dollar Tree. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Now here are the letters that I picked up at Walmart and they have several of them now and I think it'd be fun you could actually put several of these little tags together and then spell out uh, Christmas or let it snow and I may try that myself. But this one's definitely a keeper because it was a fun and simple DIY. Now I have four more DIYs coming up after this one. And there we go, I think we'll call this one done. Now for DIY number two, we're gonna be working on this farmhouse Christmas barn. Now for this design, I used one of those long signs that I had left over from fall, and I'm just going to cut it down in the shape of a barn. And it's a real simple one. I just do the angled shape at the top and then do just another little slant off to the side just to give that angled shape of the barn look. And then we're going to take some of the uh, little tumbler blocks and glue them around the top. And I decided to make mine just about a foot tall. And now I'm going to take some of that brown paper and just cover the back. I love to use this brown paper on almost all of my designs I think it's just a neat way to finish it off and cover up now this is the rust red and I really love this color for the barn look and I think I found that maybe at Hobby Lobby and then here's the little tumbler blocks and you can see I left that little space there that way I didn't have to cut anything and where I'm gonna put that little greenery across the top it just covers that hole perfectly that's just a little tip I use to save me from having to cut the wood. And then I'm just going to use a simple little bow that I had in my craft box to put up on the top there. And you can see where that greenery just fit down in those little cracked areas perfectly and saved me from having to cut the wood. Now I'm just going to take and add some of those little uh, window clings and this little bow I had left over in my craft box and then I use the uh, pieces from my blind that I'm repurposing and made the barn door and then I did touch up some of the greenery with some snow and then I added a few of the little tumbler blocks to the back now I did use these little Merry Christmas ornaments and if you soak them overnight it takes all that glitter off and it's hard plastic and you can paint it Well, I think our little barn turned out great. 
Now for DIY number three, I just took one of my picture frames and I'm gonna be using the window clings and I actually touched them up with some paint just to brighten them up. You don't have to do that step. I just like the way that it looked. And then I use a piece of the Music Note scrapbooking paper on this design and I'll take and just place those on there and then I Mod Podge them down and I added some of the lettering that says Fa La La and I thought it turned out to be a really cute little piece of wall art. And you can do this with any design. I just thought these little bears were cute singing so that was the one that I did. And there's our third DIY. Okay, now for DIY number four, we're gonna take one of these little Dollar Tree signs, add a piece of that wood scrapbooking paper. I'll apply that with a glue stick, and then I'm gonna take these two ornaments that I purchased from Dollar General and just glue those on there, and you have a really cute little piece of wall art. I know the little snowman is actually a shelf sitter, but I like to use it as an ornament. Okay, for DIY number five and our last one, I'm gonna use these bottle brush trees, some of the candle holders and ribbon from Dollar Tree and make these little accent pieces. I'm just gonna take those bottle brush trees and glue them on the bottom part of the candle holder, add a little tea lit candle and some burlap ribbon around there and then I'm gonna take and paint that little piece of greenery and brighten it up so you can see that shine through. Add a little bit of paint to look like snow and you have cute little accent pieces. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed these five farmhouse style Christmas DIYs. If so, I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. That really helps YouTube notice my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you do so. I'll see you next time.